Gateway 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Amber Kulik with 31 Triple Doppler. Man, it seems like there's a lot going on with baseball and there's a lot going on with the weather. There definitely <laughs> is. Yeah, it's going to be cold tonight and then I'm tracking a rain system next week. So we got a lot going on. <laughs> I know, I know. A lot to talk about. Let's go <laughs> ahead and dive into it. Here's a look outside at our Way 31 Skycap Network, powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction. It's a quiet night across the Tennessee Valley, and skies will remain clear during the overnight hours tonight. So if you are headed out late, you are going to need that jacket because it is going to be a chilly one. Here's your current temperatures across the area. It's 48 degrees in Scottsboro, 50 degrees in Gunnersville, 49. Indicator, 51 degrees in Muscle Shoals for the the time being, but temperatures will continue to fall as we head through the next few hours here. And here's where we'll end the night at 35 for your overnight low in Rainsville, 37 in Scottsboro, 34 up in Skyline, 37 degrees down in Albertville and over towards the Huntsville Metro. We're looking at 36 degrees in Decatur and Faultful, 35 in Athens, 36 in Huntsville as well. And out in the Shoals, we're looking at those 30s as well for you, 37 in Florence, 36 in Russellville, and 36 in Cherokee. So it is going to be chilly if you're headed out the door first thing tomorrow morning. And with those clear skies and light winds, we do have a frost advisory that goes into effect for all of North Alabama at 3 a.m. and lasts until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. So if you're trying to figure out when to start planning stuff, this weekend's not the weekend. I would wait another week or so before you really start putting stuff in the ground. By then, we should be good to go for the rest of the season. Now, 31 Triple Doppler is quiet and dry this evening. We will stay dry through the rest of the weekend. And a wider view shows clouds off to our west, and that's where they'll stay for the first part of tomorrow. But as we head into the afternoon and later evening hours of Sunday, we can expect some cloud cover to move back into the Tennessee Valley. We'll start off with that sunshine tomorrow. A few passing clouds here or there, but as we head into the later afternoon hours and into the overnight hours, that's when we'll see the bulk of the cloud cover start to build in and it will thicken as we head into the first part of your Monday. Monday will be cloudy, but it will be dry for a majority of the day. As we head into the evening hours, though, by 10 o'clock, already seeing rain moving into the shoals, and that is just the first part of our system. And I'll have another timeline of that coming up in just a minute. But for your pollen levels, tomorrow and Monday, high once again. But as that rain moves in on Tuesday, we'll start to see those levels drop to the medium range, but they are right back up as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. So here's your nightly reminder. Make sure you're taking that allergy medicine. You're going to need it. Now for Tuesday with that rain, this is at 1 a.m. We'll watch for a line of showers and thunderstorms to start to move into the shoals. There's a lot of bright colors here, but one thing that I can tell you is our severe weather threat is low, but we will see some very heavy rain move through the Tennessee Valley on Tuesday, making it into the metro right around 4 a.m. And by 6 a.m. it's moving through the Sand Mountain. So it's going to be very heavy at times. But again, our severe weather threat with this is looking low. We could see some gusty winds out of some of these storms, but I don't think that we'll see anything more than that. Now, as we head into the end of the week, our temperatures stay in the 60s and then rebound into the 70s by the weekend. 75 degrees on Easter Sunday and again just a sign of things to come as we head into the next couple of weeks here. We're going to start to transition into those warmer temperatures and I am so excited. I'm so excited but you mentioned about the allergies. I'm feeling that scratchiness in my throat already. Oh yeah, me too. It's <sighs> been getting me this season. Thanks Amber.